13 different countries who are trying to help clean up the mess and to every single one of them there's a list on the website which you can see time and time again Obama has said no we don't want your help we can deal with it even though they're not dealing with it they're playing basketball and golf and in yacht races you know fiddling while Rome burns so they've prevented the local authorities from helping they've said get out of the water to the foreign ships that are coming and saying we can help they've refused offers of help from Belgium and 13 other countries some of the countries who have the technology that can fix this within two to four months so from every indication they're prolonging this crisis and making it worse and obviously this goes beyond Obama himself you know the the ace teleprompter reader um, who is a fine actor in that he's selling this hyped rhetoric of how bad the situation is while refusing help from anyone to fix it this goes above Obama and it ties directly into the globalist carbon tax agenda which we're about to cover now on May 27th and here we're really getting into the evidence the physical direct evidence of who caused this the sabotage if you prefer May 27th and all these articles are linked so you know if people who later see this on YouTube and say oh I don't believe that prisonplanet.com is not a trustworthy source this is basically just a list New York Times CNBC um, the London Times several other publications which show that days before the explosion we're talking days BP having been aware of cracks and problems with this oil well and this oil rig over the past several months chose to use a risky weak salt water solution to seal the cement around the casing pipe um, in preference to a stronger heavier drilling fluid which which would under any other circumstance knowing that they've had problems with this rig knowing that it's a safety risk should have been used but they chose to use this weak salt water solution which according to the New York Times prompted heated arguments between BP officials and uh, the crew members on the rig who are obviously employed by Transocean that's the company that owns it um, according to Douglas H. Brown who is the chief mechanic for Deepwater Horizon so you've got people on the rig saying to BP look we've had problems with this for months we've got indications that it's going to blow and BP said no we use we use the risky weak salt water solution to seal this cap that's causing us these problems this is a quote workers from the rig and company officials have said that hours before the explosion hours before gases were leaking through the cement which had been set in place by the oil services contractor Halliburton our old friends Halliburton you know Dick Cheney and the rest of it the front the military industrial complex kingpin Halliburton they were the ones sealing the well with this weak solution that all the rig workers said was a bad idea hours before it blew this is Halliburton investigators have said these leaks were the likely cause of the explosion reports the London Times so Halliburton hours before improperly sealing this leak which later just a few hours later causes the explosion and uh, Halliburton is named in at least two dozen lawsuits filed since the explosion as being to blame for the disaster okay so what motivation would Halliburton have for improperly sealing the well is it merely negligence if it is there still needs to be criminal proceedings but the important thing about Halliburton is just 11 days before the Deepwater rig exploded the Deepwater Horizon rig Halliburton bought for a sum of 240 million dollars a vastly experienced company that deals with the cleanup of oil spills that's right 
11 days before Deepwater Horizon blew up after being improperly sealed by Halliburton they had bought this company Boots and Coots which deals with oil spill cleanups now take a rough guess who BP hired after the disaster to clean up the oil spill that's right no prizes for guessing it was Boots and Coots so now with the oil spill cleanup contracts flooding in Halliburton is making a killing off the oil spill that they caused now is that suspicious does that do you think that requires any kind of inquiry or criminal investigation to me it's a smoking gun and to others it's a smoking gun a raw story did a big report on this which we've linked to in the article quote could Halliburton have known that an oil disaster was on the horizon and planned in advance to profit from it news reports indicate they could have now the New York Times again reported in May that BP was concerned about the rigs well casing which Halliburton worked on as early as June 2009 and they also report that a Halliburton employee warned BP three weeks before the explosion that BP's use of cement for the well casing was quote against Halliburton's best practices so we've got multiple warnings um, that their methods in assuring the safety of this well which had been extremely concerning and the source of consternation for people working on the well was completely improper and now the company making a financial killing from cleaning up the mess was precisely the same company that Halliburton had bought 11 days before the disaster that lawsuits now say that they were involved in do you sense any notion of conspiracy of motivation qui bono this needs to be investigated immediately you know would it be in their interest to um, properly fix the cement walls and seal the cap or would it be in their interest to leave it unstable and cause it to blow as people who worked on the rig were warning it would happen the motivation is clear now BP itself was also aware of cracks in the oil well as far back as um, February which coincidentally at the same time was when the former BP chairman now Goldman Sachs chairman Peter Sutherland Bilderberg member big supporter of carbon taxes and global warming as well as BP CEO Tony Hayward were busy dumping their stocks so for months they knew that this rig was a problem and it could blow certainly if they continued the unsafe procedures in fixing it and at that time they were all dumping their stocks <laughs> Is, does somebody need to look into this or what you know it's the governor of Louisiana Florida are they interested in this Alabama Mississippi is anybody interested in this the fact that the people who were directly involved in this disaster were all dumping their stocks weeks and months before it happened with the knowledge that the safety procedures run by Halliburton who had also acquired a company that would later financially profit from the disaster were completely unsafe this all ties in this indicates sabotage I mean we're going beyond mere negligence when you find out that the people who knew that this well had a big problem had all dumped their stock in the weeks and months before I mean come on are we children or what can we not add one two together 